Rob Carley, you're winning an award uh, tonight again for Murdoch Mysteries. That's two years in a row with SoCan. Tell me about how great this show has been to you. It's not only is it a, a show that you know gets, gets renewed every year. We are now going into our tenth season, which is a great honor to be a part of something so successful. But from a from a creative standpoint, musically, uh, it's really nice to have to have a lot of license, which the show grants me, and I get to almost do what I want. Um, there are a few exceptions, but it's really nice to have some some creative freedom and. You know, I think that's probably my favorite thing about the show right now is that I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do in season 10, but you know, it's going to be something different and I can challenge myself, so it's, it's not the same thing every time. Tell me a little bit about the work you're doing on Winona Earp. How does that differ from what you're doing on, totally uh, on the other? Yeah, totally different show. It's, um, you know, it's this, this kind of different hybrid of um, epic superhero, supergirl music married with this kind of almost EDM kind of sound. And you know, I'm working with Pete Chapman uh, and that's been a real, a real neat for, for me to work with someone else to collaborate. It's, it's a first. It's been a real uh, eye opener. I've learning a whole bunch of stuff from him, and then I think likewise he's learning stuff from me. We're trading secrets and learning how to do, you know, playing in each other's sandbox is kind of fun. So by the end of the, the process, after, after 13 episodes, which we just finished uh, last week. Um, I think it's become more seamless. You can't really tell who's writing, where one stops and where one leaves off. So I think that's the, the objective with any kind of collaboration is to make it really a team. So it's been fun. Cool. Well, congratulations and have a great night. Thank you, Howard.